All right, trumpet friends, this is Miss Ramsey. I'm coming straight from my bathroom, a place I never thought that I would make a video of for students. But I'm in my bathroom, I'm sitting at my bathtub, and I am gonna show you a fun way to double check to make sure you're using enough air and you are moving your air fast enough. So our first step is I am gonna switch this over and you guys can see my bathtub. All right, again, just what you wanted to see, Miss Ramsey's bathtub, here it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my stopper in my bathtub so it can fill up with water and I'm gonna fill my bathtub with water that is room temperature. So it's not gonna be hot, it's not gonna be super cold, it's just gonna be a little bit in the middle. It shouldn't feel like it's not something you would like wanna take a bath in because it's gonna be too cold. So this is lukewarm tap water and I'm just gonna put enough in that I can put the bell of my trumpet, let me grab my trumpet, the bell of my trumpet so it can be underwater. That's all the water I need, so it's not very much. All right, so here I go. I'm about to fill it up. It's the most exciting thing you've ever seen. Here's the water, yay! Water! Look at that, everyone. Have you ever seen anything more exciting in your life? Wow, it's a bathtub with water in it. Just a little bit more water, I'm checking, good. friends I've got about three inches of water in my bathtub I'm gonna see if I can videotape and play the trumpet at the same time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put my bell underwater I don't want to put end the rest of my trumpet in someday we'll talk about giving your trumpet a bath but until we do that the only part of your trumpet that's gonna go in the very end of your bell I'm not putting my trumpet and touching the bottom of the bathtub okay we need to put just your bell in a little bit so there's water and space underneath it and then I'm gonna go and play watch what happens do you see those bubbles? If you're using enough air, you will get bubbles to come out of the water. If you're not using enough air, this is what happens. I might get a couple. Here's a ton of fast air. I'd like you to try playing just a little bit of your bell submerged in the water and you want to move that air fast enough that you get not so it's all about that air speed all about that air speed all right this is a good thing for you guys to do after class today fill up those bathtubs lukewarm water Put your bell in, super crazy fast air. And that's the type of air you should always be using when you play your trumpet. So when I take my trumpet out of the water, here it is, I'm gonna go and play. You have to try not to drop my phone in. It's actually so much easier to play my trumpet after having done that, because it's a quick reminder to me that I have to use fast air. All right, happy practicing trumpets, bye!